Hey everyone! I'm just going to go through what your writing activity is for today. So it's a follow on from Monday's activity where you were watching the BTN video or reading the kids news article or both um, for the um, story about the, chi the elephants in China that had just gone off for a wander and no one could work out why. So your task was to either create a news um, article, like a newspaper article using the template or writing a script out to be to give a news report as though you were presenting the news to to everybody on TV. Um, so it was really important in your writing that today you go over and edit it because what seems what happens with every writer is they never just write something and then that's it they're done finished with that task they actually like authors and professional writers will read over it numerous times so lots and lots of times and they'll edit it they'll take things out they'll add things in they'll change words around um, and it usually takes them a really long time because they want it to be really engaging and really exciting and the best thing ever for their audience to read so we want to do the same because we want to be really good writers as well so um what I'm going to give you is basically a little bit of a, a scaffold or a layout of how you could have arranged your article and today if you haven't done that then maybe this would be a great opportunity to edit it and add some things in and change some things around if you feel like you need to improve yours. Um, so first off, first and foremost we want to start with a sizzling start. Now watching the BTN video and reading that news article again would be a really good idea because you can see the way that those, uh, the journalist and the presenter of the BTN video have really engaged their audience. So we want a nice sizzling start at the beginning. It might be something like I've written a little example here. So I've written, what's the strangest thing you've ever seen an animal do? Well, the elephants of the Jishimbana Nature Reserve have done something really bizarre. Or, I've done another one. What the elephants of Jishimbana Nature Reserve will have you scratching your head, just as it did for many zoologists and scientists. Okay, so that's two different examples of a sizzling start for you. You might start it with a fact, you might start it with just like a description, you might start it with a rhetoric question. Up to you. We, we went over sizzling starts a few lessons ago, so you can go look back on that and look at the different ways that you could start it off. Um, after that, you might talk about where, where it's all happening. So the location, because you need to, when you're reporting in the news, it's really important for the audience to know actually where the event is happening or took place um, and who or what it, it includes and involves. Um, then after that, you might have a paragraph on why they left. Why, why, what are the reasons that they have come up with? Because we know that they don't really know. It's still a bit of a mystery, but they have given some reasons as to why it might have happened. So your next paragraph might be why the elephants left, the different reasons that they've come up with. Then you might have another paragraph and it's really important that we're setting it out in paragraphs and those paragraphs are different topics or different, um, different ideas that you're talking about. So your next paragraph might be what is happening to help? So what, um, what are the scientists doing? What are the um, authorities doing? What are... What are like vets doing? What are all different people doing to help the situation and to improve it? Maybe to help the elephants, maybe to help the people. What's going on? Um, and then you might have a paragraph on interesting facts. For example, along the way, along their journey, two babies were born. Two of um, two little elephant babies were born. So you might have some all different interesting facts. You might talk about how one the the elephants have caused one million dollars worth of damage. Okay, so you'll have different paragraphs that talk about different parts of the story. Okay, um, so that's basically how you're going to be setting it out. Now, when you are presenting it, so whether you're presenting it in your using your scaffold or whether you're presenting it as a news reporter, 
I think it's really important that you go back over and you read how or listen to how the BTN video or the kids news article have done that as well. So you want to look at the language you're using. You don't want it to just be blah, 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 blah. You want it to be engaging, exciting words, really vivid, descriptive words, because it is going to be a big audience reading it or listening to it. I know on the um, BTN video, they often had just pictures and you could hear the person's voice behind it, or they'd have um, some videos and then they'd hear the, you'd hear the person's voice speaking behind the video, the news presenter. You might do it that way. I know on Flipgrid you can do that. It's a really so it's a really great tool Flipgrid for doing this because you've got so many great um, options of having videos come up or having sounds come up and all different things. Uh, pick, yeah, so you can do some drawings and point things out to you as you're speaking. Uh, you might put a map up of where the location was happening. If you're doing it using the scaffold, I'm just going to go over what the scaffold sheet should look like in your final draft. So mine isn't all beautiful and fancy done, which I'm expecting you will do yours really, really nice because this is your final draft, your final copy, sorry. So up the top is where you can put the name of your newspaper. So I've called my newspaper the Whitmore Weekly. Then underneath it in this box, you'll have your heading or your title, the title of your newspaper, sorry, of your article. So I've called my article The Wonderful Wandering Elephants. And then down in the next box, I've put who it's by, by me. So journalist, Mrs. Whitmore. And then in this first section here, the first paragraph that you've got there, I'll start off with my sizzling stats. So I'll choose one of those ones that I read out to you and I'll write that there. These boxes are so that you can put an image in. You might put a map um, of the location of where it's happening. Here you might put an image of the elephants wandering around, something to do with the story that matches. So two pictures there, just like you would see in a newspaper article. You might have a look at a newspaper to have a look at how they've laid that out. And then you'll continue with your next paragraph here. So I said that you might do where, who and what it involves. And then your next paragraph, why they left and what's been, what's happening to help. Um, another paragraph here, maybe some interesting facts. And then you're done. You, if you have more writing than what is the space that's there, print another one out and just chop off that little top bit or rewrite that little top bit and staple it together. So you've got two sheets there. That's awesome if you have lots of writing to do. I would be really proud and impressed of that, by that. Um, something that I think is really useful to look at is arms and cup editing method. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here you can see a little poster and it's got revise and edit. So we revise using arms and we edit using cups. So when we revise, we need to remember to add in sentences and words. So we want to make sure that the words we're using are showing, not telling. So they're descriptive, vivid words. We want to remove any words or sentences that you don't need, that don't make sense, or you've kind of just repeated the same thing over and over again. We want to move words and sentences around so that our sentences sound really professional and really great. And we want to substitute. So we want to trade in vivid words or sentence descriptions for boring ones. So we want to make sure that um, our boring words go change, change into vivid words. Then with edit, we want to read through you might read through for each letter. So you might start with C, which is capitalization. You'll read through, you'll read through it once and you'll look for all capitalization. You'll make sure that all of your sentences start with a capital. You'll make sure that all of your proper nouns start with a capital. You'll make sure you haven't used a capital where it shouldn't go. And then you'll go to you for usage, which is you need to make sure that your nouns and your verbs are used correctly and they make sense. So you'll read it again to make sure every sentence makes sense. Then you'll read again for punctuation. You'll make sure you've got your full stops, your commas. You'll make sure you've got any, if you've got a quote in there, you've got speech marks, you've got exclamation marks, question marks. And then you'll finally finish with spelling. So 
you'll go through and spelling's a really important one because usually if we've made a spelling mistake sometimes it's a silly mistake but other times it's because because we really don't know how to spell that word so you might need to go through with a highlighter or a pencil or a pen and circle or highlight words and then use a dictionary or Google or a brother or sister or a parent if they're available to help you spell that word correctly. That's really important that you do that. So just so you can see me again. So there you have your writing task. Um, it's real. This editing stage is so, so important because strong, great writers edit over and over again. They usually do this a few times and, and, they, and it's the most important step in your writing. So make sure that you edit today, please. Um, once you're done, you're gonna to go to Flipgrid, you're gonna put in your username and then you're going to record either, you, you can either record yourself reading your article, so you can have your article up like this and you can record yourself reading it. You might just sit there recording yourself reading it. Um, or otherwise, you can do um, a great uh, news report presentation, like you're a news reporter and, and you're telling the news, uh, like the BTN video with pictures and videos and what all sorts of great things happening on your screen. I hope that makes sense, guys. And I hope you um, have a really great time doing that activity and recording it on Flipgrid and I can't wait to see them and hear all the amazing things that you write and, and the ways that you use words to engage your reader.